Welcome to Home Invaders on the loose right now after forcing two women to stare death in the face. The guy was like, they're just like, give me all your money, give me all your money, everything. A split second decision may be the reason they're still alive. Only on 13 Action News, Parker Collins spoke with the victims about their nightmare. We were screaming at the top of our lungs for help. And the only people, the neighbors heard us, but the security guard was sitting right there, didn't hear anything. It was just the two of them in bed together when they heard someone trying to get in. A pair of men busted down the door, breaking the lock, and went straight for the bedroom. We both came on both sides of our bed, instantly put the guns to our heads. And um, the guy was like, they're just like, give me all your money, give me all your money, everything. I was like, I don't have anything, bro. This tense standoff lasted for a while until one of the guys saw who had just been dialed, 911. The women say dispatch was on the phone the whole time, listening in. They say when the criminals realized this, they took off. So I was already on the phone with the cops. I wasn't giving him my phone. One of the ladies rushed out the door and ran toward the front of the complex, hoping to find some clue that would lead to these guys. She couldn't find a trace. This road right here is the only way to drive in and out of this complex. But the couple's apartment is in the very back, and this wall is low enough to jump. Maybe they um, caught on schedule. to their schedule, and they're like, oh, only two girls live there, no guys, so it would be an easy target. Police spent hours looking for the gunman this morning. The ladies who live here did not sleep a wink. Near Sahara Indicator, Parker Collins, 13 Action News.